Hi, this is Sofer Dolls, and I wanted to do this quick little short video um, on how to put an exquisite doll design wig on. I've had a few comments that, um, just like I did the first time, people are having problems getting the wig on. These are a very tight-fitting wig, like I've mentioned, um, and the first time you put it on, maybe the first couple of times, it will be difficult to put it on. But once you get the hang of it, they go on much easier, and then you'll be thankful for how tight the fit of the wig is on your doll. So I have in front of you three dolls. I'm just going to switch around their wigs really quick and show you the technique that I use, which I think is the technique you just about you need to use for this um, to get these wigs on. And the first time they you know I, I had trouble because I'd been used to using a different brand and putting wigs on. I've you know put wigs on my twin dolls, other dolls, and they went on differently. And so I actually did have to contact the owner, and she um, talked me through how to do it um, through like little messaging. So let me show you, and then she has a video also she posted on her uh, Facebook page, but not everybody has access to it, so I wanted to show you this. So I have, you know, three dolls. They're all wearing exquisite doll design wigs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all three dolls. I'm going to show you three times how I do it. Um, they come off a lot easier, and I think uh, once you understand how to do it, it'll make it, you'll, you'll be much happier, you know, because why get a wig if you can't even put the wig on? How frustrating is that? But I think if you understand the first time, maybe the first couple of times is going to be a challenge, you'll be more um, ready to do this. So I might as well you know, put a different wig on somebody else. So I'm gonna take the blushing pearl, which I had a little hair tie in it, I'm gonna take it out, or a little hair band. And what I do is, hopefully this will focus, I get my doll that has had the wig removed I take my wig and I decide where I want the um, part of the wig. Do I want it in the center? Do I want it uh, off to the left, off to the right? Decide where I want it. Then I'm going to hold it between my thumb and my pointer finger. I'm going to line up. Like right now, I'm just going to go for the center. Then I put my hand over her face so she's completely, you see like I have my pointer finger and I'm right-handed, so I, this is the right hand I'm using. I will then take the pointer and my thumb on my left hand. I will go under the wig cap from the back. I don't, you may not be able to see, but my hand is going to grab it. I am going to stretch it over. So you're stretching it over her, you know, bald head. And you do have to pull it. There is um, elastic-y kind of head, um, the head, the head, the wig cap has like elastic. So you have to like grab it and stretch it over the wig. Let me see if I'm getting the hands. You grab it and then you're going to stretch it. If I'm showing you, you're grabbing the wig from the front and then you're holding it in the back. Let me see. So you grab the wig from the front. This is without a doll head in it. Grab the wig from the bottom like this and so you're going to put it over the head and then stretch it over the um, up to the back of like near the neck. And you want to make sure when you're doing it that you're getting wherever like um, what would you call that? The glue line of the last wig will give you an idea of how far and how much stretch you need to pull on this wig. Um, in a few days I will be gluing one on and I will also do a video on how I glue down the wig because I have a trip coming up and I do want to bring one of my dolls with one of these wigs and I don't want to deal with possibly it falling off. But you see that? The wig, it goes from the front all the way to the back if I was gluing down, sometimes it does kind of ride up a little bit on me, so I just pull it down again. But if I had glued it down, it wouldn't be riding up anymore. So there's one doll, rewigged. I'm going to show you again, because I always think it's easier to see it more than once. So let's try this wig on her. So again, I'm taking the wig. I'm going to get the front, the part where I want it. This time I'm going to put it over one of the eyes, the part. You see the bald head, you see the wig line where the last wig was. I'm going to put my um, wig over her and I'm kind of going to the side. So I have it over her left eye when you're looking at the camera, it's um, my right. I'm holding the wig down with my pointer finger, grabbing the wig from the um, bottom of the wig. And sometimes I do pull the hair a little bit but not too hard that I'm pulling any hair out. And I just slid it on. It went on pretty fast. Now, I have put many wigs on, so the technique has gotten much easier for me. Um, sometimes, though, um, the wigs, you know, a little bit, they vary slightly on how tight they are, so a few of them have been harder than others. 
but that wig is on. And, um, and then I always have to go back and adjust it. Sometimes what happens when I put them on also is if I'm not careful, I end up putting like some of the wig where like this strand was under the wig cap. And then I, like I said, I go back through. If I was gluing that down or I'm going to take a picture, I'm like, oh no, I have the wig cap showing or the original wig. So I just tug it down a little bit to make sure it's not showing. But that's number two. Here's my third one. I'll show you one more time. And hopefully, I really hope this will help people because I think you should, if you're going to get these wigs, you want to enjoy them. Here's the wig. I have my finger over the front part. I have my doll. I'm going to go over the, uh, her right eye, my left side. So I've decided where I'm going to put it down. I have my pointer where the front will be of the wig. I grab the wig from behind. And I, I'm noticing I had like my thumb and pointer. I quickly switch to um, grabbing a couple of the hairs at the back. And it's going down. I can hear a little bit of sound as it goes down over her old hairline where the other wig was glued on. But there it is. And now I would be going back and adjusting, making sure everything is covered. So there you go. I hope this video is of help to you if you're buying the um, exquisite doll design wigs. I really hope this has been of help. Um, if you have any more questions, please comment down below. I do try to get back and answer questions. Um, and I really appreciate comments. So I, I do hope this is of help. And um, be sure to check back soon because I have a package that is on the way right now with some beautiful, exquisite doll design wigs that should be arriving tomorrow. So I'll have more um, opening and reviews on the wigs. And so I just can't wait to get started on that. But I hope this um, will get you ready if you're going to order some yourself. So thank you for watching, and please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you. Bye-bye.